Hello. Can you guys hear me? Is everything looking okay? There might be like a 10 second delay between what I say and when it shows up on the screen, so just let me know. Do you guys say anything in the live chat? Is the live chat working? Hello? Hi, <laughs> <I> Kiernan. <laughs> Hello? I'll just give people a minute to get on. How's everyone doing today? Anything exciting happening? Do you guys miss school yet? Not really. Nothing at all? Any video games? Plenty of time to play video games, right? Let's see. Is it buffering at all for you guys? Is it looking okay? If so, we'll go ahead and get started. Everything looks good? Okay. All right. Let's get started. So, we're going to be doing our quiz tomorrow on Newton's first and second laws. Um, the quiz is going to be the same format. It's Mastery Connect and Google Form. I'm going to be just putting the Mastery Connect codes on um, Canvas. Just make sure you're not cheating. Um, be honest. Have your parents watch you. Make sure that you're doing everything correctly. Okay? So, let's go over the study guide. You can get a copy of this study guide on Canvas. It's under Unit 5, just called Newton's First and Second Law Study Guides. Okay, so let's go over question one. Question one says, a golf ball is sitting on the grass, not moving. Are the forces balanced or unbalanced? Why or why not? Okay, now this goes back to the lesson we did uh, in class about balanced and unbalanced forces, okay? What's the balanced force? What's an unbalanced force? And which one of those is happening right now for the golf ball? Okay. Let's answer question one. What's a balanced or unbalanced force? What do you guys say? You guys hear me? Let's see. Okay, it's 
balance. Everyone can hear me? Is it just Bryson that can't hear me? I only have a PDF up on Canvas, so if you need a Word document, just email me. Otherwise, you can print it and fill it out at home. Okay, but if you need help, just let me know. Okay. Have to edit the paper when you get a copy. You have to download it. Okay, you have to download it and print it. Okay. Any other questions before we move back to question one? Download the study guide and then print it. Okay. Okay, going back to this right here. Golf ball sitting on the grass, not moving. Are the forces balanced or unbalanced? Why or why not? Okay, doggo503 said balanced. Why is it balanced? How do you know that the forces are balanced here? I'm going to do this. It's not moving because nothing is moving forces are balanced because the golf ball is not moving or accelerate accelerating good okay so that's how you know the forces are balanced because the golf ball is not accelerating accelerating it's staying in one place so all the forces that are acting on it are balanced. There are forces pushing against it. We have gravity pushing it down, but we also have the force of the, um, the what is that called, T? That little stick thing is pushing it back up. So the forces are balanced. Okay? All right. Moving on to question two. How did the forces cause the golf ball to remain sitting on the grass? I kind of just explained this one. You guys tell me, how did the forces cause the golf ball to remain sitting on the grass? Okay, gravity, nothing sitting it. Okay, we've got friction that's keeping it in place as well. Anything else? Okay, we've got gravity pushing it down, so why isn't it just falling down? Okay, what's pushing it up? What's pushing it up? Okay, the T holds it up, right. So, let's write this down. We have the force of the of gravity pushing it down and the force of the T, the thing underneath the golf ball, holding it up. Cool? Okay. Good job, guys. Okay, again, if you have any questions as we go through this, just let me know. I'm going to move on now. Question three. A golf ball that has been sitting on the grass is hit by one of the golfers and moves forward. 
Are the forces balanced or unbalanced? Why or why not? What do you guys think? A golf ball that has been sitting on the grass is hit by one of the golfers and moves forward. Are the forces balanced or unbalanced? Why or why not? Hi, Taryn. Good, Aislinn. So let's write that down. The forces are unbalanced because something is hitting against the golf ball, causing what? Causing the golf ball to accelerate. Good. Okay. Causing the golf ball to accelerate. Now, very good, guys. Question four, let's move on to question four. A soccer ball that is moving is hit by a player on the opposite team and moves in the opposite direction. Are the forces balanced or unbalanced? Why or why not? What do you guys think? A soccer ball that is moving is hit by a player on the opposite team and moves in the opposite direction. Are the forces balanced or unbalanced? Why or why not? There's just a little bit of lag. Okay. Unbalanced because the guy is being moved by an unbalanced force. Right, so it's not the guy, it's the soccer ball that we're talking about. Forces are unbalanced because the player kicked the ball, causing it to move. Right. Good job, guys. Okay. The forces are unbalanced because the soccer ball was kicked, causing it to move. Causing it to move. Yeah, we can just put that. Very good, guys. All right, moving on to question five. The hockey puck glides across the ice in a straight line at a constant speed. Are the forces balanced or unbalanced? Why or why not? Okay, this one's a little tricky. I'm going to explain to you the correct answer after you guys tell me what you think, okay? The hockey puck glides across the ice in a straight line at a constant speed. Constant speed. Are the forces balanced or unbalanced? Why or why not? Keegan, can you explain why? Why are they balanced? Wheeze? <laughs> Wheeze forces are balanced, okay? Balanced because there's nothing stopping the puck from moving in a straight line, okay? So, the forces are balanced because the puck is moving at a constant speed and not accelerating, okay? Balanced forces are when there is no acceleration can either be no acceleration but constant velocity okay or in other words speed okay unbalanced forces are when are when how do i say this are when there is a change in acceleration or motion. Does that make sense? Any questions on that? It's balanced because it's going at a constant speed. Okay, So balanced forces can either be sitting still or going at a constant speed. Unbalanced is when it's accelerating or deaccelerating. Okay, Either speeding up or slowing down. But if it's still, or if it's just staying at the same speed, then the the forces are balanced. 
Okay, all the forces are balanced. Nothing is stopping it. it. All the forces will be balanced. Any questions on that? Annika, did that answer your question? It's not unbalanced. It's unbalanced when something is acting on the object, causing it to change its acceleration. Hi, Beckett. Any questions on that? So it's unbalanced when it's causing an acceleration or deceleration in the object, but it's balanced when it's stopped or moving at a constant speed. So for the hockey puck, it's moving at a constant speed. It's moving, but the forces are still balanced because there's no acceleration or deceleration happening. It's just staying at that constant speed. So I hope that answers your question, Nico. Any questions before we move on? You all good? Okay, good. Anybody else? All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and move on. So, let's see, a basketball player decides to practice with a golf ball, a baseball, and a bowling ball, instead of a basketball. Hi, Colin. Answer questions six through nine to describe how mass and force affect the motion of each ball, okay? So, what might happen if the baseball player tossed the golf ball and the bowling ball with five newtons of force, okay? Will they go the same distance? Why or why not? So we're using the same amount of force to move these two balls. We're using the same amount of force to toss a golf ball and a bowling ball. As you'll see here in the table, a golf ball's average mass is 46 grams. And a bowling ball's average mass is 5,000 grams, okay? Using the same force, which one's going to be, which one will go farther? Or will they go the same distance? What do you guys think? Will they go the same distance? Why or why, why not? They won't go the same distance because one weighs more. It will go different because of the mass, so the bowling ball won't go as far as the golf ball. Right, exactly. Since they have different masses, and we're using the same amount of force, it requires more force to push the bowling ball the same distance as the golf ball because it weighs more. So, I'll write it down. They will not go the same distance. The golf ball will go farther than the bowling ball because it has less mass than the bowling ball. Okay? So think of it this way. Think like See, I have my soda can and my swig tumbler here. If I'm using the same amount of force to push each, okay, they won't go as far. Does that make sense? You could try this at home. If you have a golf ball, a bowling ball, I don't know how many people have a bowling ball at home, but just if you're using a ball 
with different masses, you use the same force, the one that's lighter is going to go farther than the one that's heavier. Okay? I know. Well, it's just water. I just have my tumbler and it's just full of water. Don't worry. You gotta stay home. Practice social distancing. So, hope that answers everyone's questions. The mass is different. The lighter one will go farther. Let's move on to question seven. What might happen if the basketball tossed the baseball... Wait, let me read that. Um, there we go. What might happen if the basketball player tossed the baseball and the golf ball with five newtons of force? Will they go the same distance? Why or why not? We'll get back. We'll talk about my wedding at the end of this. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what might happen if the ba basketball player tossed the baseball and the golf ball with five newtons of force? The same amount of force. Will they go the same distance? Why or why not? A little bit of lag. Anyone? Okay, good, doggo. Thank you. So, because the masses are different, it's the same thing as question six, like Doggo said. So, I'm going to write that down right here. Which one will go farther? The one that's lighter, right? The golf ball will go farther than the baseball since it has less mass. Okay? Good. Very good. Okay, let's move on to question eight. What does the basketball player need to do to make the baseball and the bowling ball move at the same speed? Okay. Think about that, guys. What does the basketball player need to do to make the baseball and the bowling ball move at the same speed? Okay, right in the live chat, what do you guys think? What do we need to do to make them go the same speed? Good, use more force for the bowling ball. So. The basketball player will have to use more force on the bowling ball than the baseball in order to make it go the same speed. Okay, um, Brendan says the basketball player needs to throw the bowling ball with more force than the baseball because the bowling ball has more mass than the baseball. Exactly. Change the force. That's all you got to do. You guys do this every day in your own life. Imagine you're at a basketball court. You've got a baseball and a bowling ball. You're obviously going to have to push the bowling ball with more force to make it go the same speed. So let's go to question nine. Let's see. Question nine says, what does the basketball player need to do to make the golf ball and the bowling ball move at the same speed? What do you guys think? What does the basketball player need to do to make the golf ball and the bowling ball move at the same speed?
it's okay. <laughs> I'm not concerned. It you guys do what you want to do with your names, okay? But it's the same thing as question eight. All right, I'm just gonna copy and paste this right here. Okay, the basketball player will have to use more force on the bowling ball than the golf ball in order to make it go the same speed. Okay. All right, pretty straightforward. All right, last question here. Use the following to help you answer question 10. A football coach wants to know which player on his team has the best throw. The coach has the following tools with him at the field. A timer, a tape measure, a thermometer, a radar gun, which is for measuring the speed of the puck. Um, I'm not puck, it should say football. A triple beam balance, which is something used to measure mass. A camera and a stethoscope. Which of the tools listed above would be best for the coach to use to decide which player's throw has the most force and speed? What do you guys think? Put it in the live chat. Measuring tape, radar gun, okay. Why? Radar gun. Why the radar gun? Why the radar gun? Okay, right, so it'd be best to use the radar gun because in that way we can track the speed of the football, right? You could also use the tape measure to see how far it's thrown. That works too, okay? But the radar gun would be best for measuring speed, all right? So let me write that down. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the study guide. Do you guys have any questions that I can help you with before we end the stream for today? Pretty much from here on out, it's just going to be me answering questions. I can stay on for a little while if you guys want to um, just let me know what questions you have. My wedding was good. <laughs> I showed you guys a picture. More questions about the quiz, though, is what I was going for. <laughs> Any questions on the quiz? Okay. Fine. <laughs> Why? How many questions are on the test? So... It's going to be the same format as the past couple quizzes we've done. Um, 10 multiple choice questions, um, a level 3 question, and a level 4 question. All right. Um, are you, why are you not on your honeymoon? Because of the national emergency and pandemic going on with the coronavirus right now. Are you grading the test just like you grade the other tests? Yes, the rubric for how this test is being graded is on Canvas. If you want to go to um, Newton's first and second law quiz, just click on that. It'll show you how it's being graded, but it's pretty much the same as the other quizzes we've done so far. How are you grading it? Yeah, I just said if you want to check out the rubric, just go check it out. Um, yeah, that sucks. 
Well, the nice thing is we get to stay home, but I do miss school. So it's hard to be at home all the time, but it's nice that we get to hang out together. She's a teacher too, so she has to teach from home too. Are there two parts to it? Uh, yes, there is the um, multiple choice section on Mastery Connect. And then there is also the free response part that will be done on the Google form. Can I have a study guide? You can find the study guide on Canvas by going to the dashboard. Okay, then go to Unit 5 on Science, and it should be right there. You can download it, print it. I have it as a PDF, so you can't write on it, so you'll have to print it. If you need a Word document version, just send me a message, and I'll send it to you. I know, I want to see my friends and teachers, too. It's a hard time, but it's for the best right now. And hopefully, we can be back to school soon. You have one friend, or did you mean friends? <laughs> I think she means friends. Any other questions for the quiz tomorrow? Nothing. Okay. Oh, why do we have assignments? We don't have to have them. What do you mean? I certainly feel like I am lonely. I'm sorry. What is 10 times 1,000? 10,000. End of quarter is on Thursday. There's no school on Friday. End of school is on Thursday. We have assignments. We have to do our assignments, Colin. If you guys need anything, just let me know. Can you play Minecraft? I'll think about playing Minecraft later today, but until at least 3.30, I've got to do my teaching job, okay? Okay. Got to do my teaching job. I'm not a YouTube streamer. I'm just a teacher. Well, I'm a teacher doing a YouTube stream, but you get what I mean. Uh, Avery says hi, by the way. She, she told me to tell you that. I know. I haven't posted in a while. I got married. And then coronavirus. So, well, maybe I'll have time today. We'll see. Okay. If that's it, nobody has any more questions. I'm going to... How does a basketball throw a baseball? I know. It was a typo. It was a typo. Okay. So... If you have any questions, just message me. Go through the study guide. I'm here to help you guys. I'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good one.